So today I'm playing Sekiro Shadows Die Twice and every time I defeat a boss or mini boss the game is going to get 10% faster. Meaning it will start looking something like this and end looking like this. And if you enjoy this type of content remember to subscribe and stop by live stream so you don't miss out. So yeah I guess we just start. And before anyone asks, I'm not doing Charmless. <laughs> I am not doing this Charmless. No way. I think definitely early on this is going to be pretty chill. And yeah, we're still going to kill Tutorial Genny just for fun. I don't really know why I'm fighting him, I just kind of feel like it. Okay, there we go. Here's the question. Do I increase the speed for 10% because of that? Because you could consider him a boss, technically. No, what, fuck it. 10%. Well, we're already 10% faster. And I'm also going to put healing on, because I'm going to need it. Yeah, I imagine this might get very difficult very quickly. Still made the jump, though. Okay, and this general here actually drops a Gourd Seed. Which I think I'm going to want, so I'm actually going to fight him as well. And that's another boss. Okay, say hello to 120% speed. This is going to get very fast, very quick. That's actually going to be an interesting thing to think about in the sense that, you know, I'm going to try and figure out how to balance how many prayer beads I need versus how fast I want the game to be. Because already, at 120%, uh, this feels pretty fast. <laughs> okay, and time for Ogre. When you kill all bosses and mini-bosses, you'll get to 570%. Oh, but yeah, I am not doing that. <laughs> I am not doing that. Okay, this speed is still slow enough that I can play, at least. I can still play. Uh, there's a Gourd Seed here as well, I think. I'm going to try and fight as few optional bosses as possible. But it depends on how useful they could be. I'm, I'm kind of curious how far I'll be able to get before it starts becoming unplayable. Because you know, I still know what's going on at this speed. I'm curious how high it can get before I just start having to like spam and stuff like that. Say hello to Emma. Okay, first actual boss. First actual boss coming up. Oh, that's slow enough. Fuck. I can still understand this mostly. Ah, shit. Yeah, I can still play this. Well, that's phase one. <laughs> this is still slow enough that I can play. Although, keep in mind, this is only the first boss. <laughs> There's still a long way to go. Yep, Gobu got fucking destroyed. Holy shit. Okay, we're already very fast. And we've only been playing 14 minutes. I feel like this start is going to go very quickly. And then we're just going to get stuck on like one boss somewhere. Okay, so I think this dude sells a Gourd Seed. Yeah, for 1,000. Oh, I actually have enough. Okay, no, let's let's get that now. Let's let's get Makiri, just to make sure I have it for Genichiro. Can I deflect? Oh my god. Okay, this is a bit intense. Oh my god. And now I'm burning, great. It's going pretty well, though. Okay, I actually kind of destroyed him. Okay. And that's our fourth prayer bead as well, I think. Four prayer beads, and we've got more vitality and posture. Oh, yeah, there's a gourd seed here. What am I on about? Oh, that's a guy. Oh, my God. I cannot beat him. Ow. 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 You know what? Let's let's just go to Sunken Valley. You know, there's some more gold seeds and prayer beads I can get, so let's just go. 
Yeah, there's a prayer bead up here. Ah, fuck. Then, yeah, there's another gourd seed up here somewhere. Let's just get Gunfort out of the way and run through it now. Ow. Just try and make it to the idol over here. <laughs> yeah, just get the idol. Yes, there's this gourd seed. I think this is pretty much all of the areas that I can get to without fighting anything now. Okay, so what boss are we fighting first? We could fight Genichiro, Armored Warrior, or Centipede. I think we have to fight Genichiro first. Like, it's another attack power, we're at a lower speed. I'm also going to fight Genichiro just straight up, because I want to see how far I can get without, like, using cheeses and stuff. Okay, I do have Makiri, though. Okay, that is fast. This might have been a bad idea. This is already very quick. Ow. Ow, that hurts. Okay. P please stop shooting me with arrows. Ah, fuck. Dude, if this is Ganitro, imagine what Sword Saint Ishin is going to be like. Oh my god, I, I'm seriously not quick enough for that. They just run away from that attack now. Okay, please stop with the arrows. Ow, oh fuck. This attempt isn't looking so good. We did make it to Tom away though. Maybe not this fast though. <laughs> Oh wait, I can lightning reversal, can't I? If, I? if I'm quick enough to react to it, I can lightning reversal. Like that. Come on, kill him, kill him, kill him. Yo, first try Ganitro. Definitely wasn't easy. <laughs> Definitely wasn't easy. If that's only the second boss, I am very worried all of a sudden. Okay, 160%. <laughs> oh my god. What skills can I get? The carp skills are probably quite useful. Right, let's get mid-air deflection. So mid-air combat arts, shinobi eyes and vitality on death blow are going to be very important. Right, where next? Okay, out of armored warrior and centipede, what immediately unlocks more prayer beads? You know what? Let's do centipede. How quick is this? Oh my god. Okay, if I just make sure I get the last one, then we'll get the jump. Fuck, okay. Yeah, if I deflect the last one, then he'll always do this sweep attack. Okay, there we go. Wasn't too bad. Here we go. And we can... Enhance our attributes even further. And also get... Uh, let's get Ascending Carp. Oh god, and there he is. We're going to have to fight that at some point. Let's not do it yet. <laughs> okay, but in all seriousness, I actually probably want to fight Ape as early as possible. I would imagine Ape is probably going to be one of the hardest... Probably the hardest boss in early game. At the very least. If I let Ape get too fast, we could just be done for. Okay, the thing with Ape is that if I beat Ape now, then the double Ape fight in that cave just beyond here is going to spawn. And I'll have no way to get around it. I'll have to fight double Ape. So I think what I do is I fight Snake Eyes now. That will put me at 180% speed. Then I get past this cave... And then I go and fight Guardian Ape. So that means I can fight him at 180% speed. But also that I won't have to fight Double Ape. Well, let's give it a shot. Well, here goes nothing. I'm actually going to bring Snake Eyes back into this corner to try and get the other dude away from us. Ow. That doesn't kill me. That does. You think Corrupted Monk would be better to fight before Ape? What, like for the attack power? I mean, the thing with Monk is it's 20% speed because of Miss Noble. Oh, and I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. Give me that. 
Yeah, that would mean fighting Ape at 200% instead of 180%. How worth it would that be? On honestly, I disagree. I, I think it's better to fight Ape first. The only thing is doing Monk would give us an extra attack power for Ape. It might even give us access to one more Vitality upgrade and it would give us an extra Gourd Seed. Actually, the more that I think about that, the more worth it it becomes. And I have no Prayer Beads. I'll get one from Snake Eyes. I'll get one from up there. That's two. There's another pickup in Mibu Villages 3. There's money that I can get in Mibu to buy the one in from the shop, which would be four. There's a Gourd Seed. Monk would give me an extra attack power. And also skills that I'll get from the skill points for Monk. You know what? That might be worth it. Okay, it's a good attempt. These... Okay, there we go, there we go. I don't know, it just kind of seems like a bit of a waste to use this speed on Miss Noble. This feels like a waste. A waste of 10% speed. Fuck it. I'm gonna do it. Well, we're locked in now. Another 10% for Miss Noble. I, I hope I'm not gonna regret this. Okay, this is a Gourd Seed though. So we'll just grab that. That's nine out of 10 Gourd Seeds and the last one sadly is in Fountainhead. So we can't get that for a while. There's confetti in here I'm gonna grab quickly. Actually, I'm gonna get stabbed. Cool. Okay, the thing with Orin, I don't think it's worth it to fight her. But she does give the Vitality on Death Blow skill. So I think she's someone to keep in mind for potentially taking a 10% speed increase. Oh, there we go. Nice. Thank you. Okay, so Emma gives us a ninth Gourd Seed. Then I get more Vitality and Posture. Actually, I'm going to get Descending Carp and Run and Slide. And let's go and see what's up with Monk. I'm not going to use Confetti this attempt. I just want to see what's up. 190%. How quick is this? Okay. It's, it's pretty quick. <laughs> it's... It's pretty quick. Oh my god. <laughs> this one could be a bit difficult. I need to remember that guarding is a thing in this game. I haven't actually, like, guarded to recover posture in so long in Sekiro. Well, that's all my heals gone. I'm actually not going to use the pellet. I don't think it's worth it. This attempt is not the one. Yeah, I think I am maybe going to regret this decision when I get to Ape. I think I'm not using Confetti. Just like while I sort of get my bearings on the fight a bit. That is so fast. That sweep is ridiculously fast. I don't actually know if I can really react to that. Oh my god. <laughs> This is definitely going to be an interesting one. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> Honestly, this doesn't seem super bad. Nice. Less nice. Ah, fuck. But if she does two sweeps in a row, I'm just not ready for it. Okay, that time I expected it. I mean, I'm making progress, that's for sure. It might soon be time to put Divine Confetti on. Some of the quick attacks are just, like, impossible for me to react to. Some of them just come out really quickly. Like, that third hit there, I was never going to get that. Yeah, I will maybe have a try. Fuck. But I can kind of deflect some combos, but not reliably. 
Like any attack that has a long wind up, I think I'm pretty decent at. Because it gives me a chance to actually react to it. Yo, I'm popping off right now. I'm actually popping off. Fuck. Okay, hold on. I'm going to take this pellet. That was a good little sequence. No. Okay, that was a really good attempt, though. More confetti? Fuck, don't do that. Oh, let's fucking go. Okay. We got away with it. The full buff worked. Give it up for 200% game speed. Okay, so we can get another attack power. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do it. Vitality on death blow. Now it is time. 200% speed. Honestly, I can't tell if this is bad or not. But even though he's literally like running 10% faster than Monk was, he does feel slower. Yeah, he actually feels slower than Monk. Oh, I just realised I probably should have gone and got the um, spear prosthetic. But I have it, but I need to fit it to my weapon. Okay, honestly, that seems fine. I'm actually shocked that I just did that first try still having four gourds left. Yeah, now, now that I'm looking at it, maybe fighting my monk first was the right call. This doesn't actually seem that difficult. This actually seems really easy, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, this actually seems pretty straightforward. I think I was worried for nothing about this fight. I assumed it would be the hardest for this run, but apparently I was wrong. I am out of heals, though. I still have my revive, though. I only just realised. Well, I'm out of heals, but I still have my revive. So I'm not even, like, close to death. Is he dead? Dude, I was worried for nothing. I was actually worried for nothing. Say, like literally first try. <laughs> I, I thought that fight was going to be like one of the hardest in the run. Okay, let's just have a look at Armored Warrior. Oh, God. Oh, wait, he didn't even do the combo. Ouch, that's damage. Oh, he does damage. He does damage. <laughs> um, I overestimated Ape. I think I might have underestimated Armored Warrior. Oh my god. Probably should have done this before Ape in hindsight. At least with Armored Warrior, he has no posture recovery. So if I need to, I can just get out of the way. Please. Okay, there we go. Armored Warrior done. And we get a prayer bead and posture recovery on death blow, which will come in very handy. That's three prayer beads. Can I find one more without killing a boss? Let's get the idol for screen monkeys and then also let's go and pick up the Sempo skill book. Okay, so we have access to all of the skills we could potentially want. Okay, actually, before we fight screen monkeys, is there any optional boss that could be worth doing because this is basically just a free attack power shichiman for the tanto depends how necessary emblems are maybe the headless echo headless echo in combination with devotion could give me pretty much unlimited buffs let's let's investigate it you know you know what let's investigate it yeah i am awful at this boss fight so this might not go well Great. 
Um, maybe that is not worth investigating. <laughs> okay, one one more attempt. Yeah, maybe not. I, I'm not fucking with him. We could also fight Double Ape. That will give it an attack power and two prayer beads. So how about this? No, let's give it a go. I mean, this ape is squishier than the other, than the like actual proper boss ape. That's more like it. Okay, what's this gonna be like? So I still haven't got Mortal Draw. Okay, which one should I be going for first? Or should I should probably be getting Firecracker, shouldn't I? Honestly, I think a Headless Ape could be worth it. Let me get some Firecrackers. I don't let, Let's see if I can, like, burst the second ape down with Firecrackers. So my idea is that when this dude screams, I just need to, like, go for it and spam Firecrackers. That will work. Echo. Scream, drop in, attack. Dude, it's so close. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. That's one ape gone. Is this it? GG's. G fucking G's. I think it might be time to start doing cheeses. <laughs> I think it's time to start cheesing some bosses. Like we're getting to the point where it's nigh on impossible to react to individual attacks. And let's get better healing. Screen monkeys, I feel, should just be free attack power. Uh, Headless Ape gives you bestowal. The one that like increases your range on the sword. And then we should be able to kill it. Free attack power, like I said. 240%. This is where we're fighting Owl. And yeah, I'm getting Mortal Draw out. Wait, I just had an idea. I can't kill bosses for prayer beads. But what I can do is I can progress the game wait for that boss to despawn, and then buy the prayer bead from the offering box. Wait, that could get me a ton of beads by doing that. Most bosses will despawn after Dragon when, like, all of Ashna Castle changes. And we're going to stay loyal to Kuro. We're not doing Shura. We are going Immortal Severance. How difficult is it going to be to put Owl in the corner? Um, um, <laughs> um, well then, oh god, it's, it's definitely doable, no, if, if I didn't heal them I probably could have got him in the corner. What are you doing? Fuck. Oh my god. At least we can do a lot of attempts very quickly. Don't know how that didn't kill- okay, there we go. No! Oh, come on! No! no. Dude, I hate when he does that. I am spamming R1 as hard as I can.
Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Fucking finally. I finally got it once. Oh my god, we're finally free. So, True Monk. True Monk. First, I just want to see if it's unplayable. Is this completely unplayable? Uh, I honestly don't want to say yes. I, I kind of feel like I can do this phase. I kind of feel I can do... Okay, the sweep I cannot react to. Call cool attempt. Oh my god, maybe not. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> All I'm doing is healing. I thought I would do the sweep. Hmm. A couple of the attacks are slow enough that I can kind of react to them. And I mean a couple. <laughs> that was good, holy fuck. I don't know what I'm going to do for phase three, though. So there is a phase one cheese. I think it's over here. Are you, like, lure her around here and... That, okay, that time it didn't work. You need to, like, try and get her stuck. Yeah, there we go. And then you can do this. Like, if I wanted to, I could just do this for this first phase. I, I think we just do this cheese. There we go. Okay, that's the second bar. What do I do? Okay, I'm going to confetti. I'm going to echo. And then spam this. There we go, true monk. With a lot of cheesing, but true monk at 250% speed. You're intended to like kill a Kami leader so that you can swim through the water. But there is a skip you can do. To completely miss the lightning and then we can just get through to where divine dragon is without having to kill a kami leader just like that and then in this chest is the last gourd seed so now we have max gourds at least and let's get better healing i think dragon is easy enough that i'm just gonna go in with this okay i can't imagine this being an issue Uh, yeah, I this this isn't an issue. All of their prayer beads should be in the temple after this, no? I do not think this is going to be difficult. Ow, oh my god, what the hell happened there? No issues whatsoever, phase two. I, I, I can just block all of this. Okay, maybe I can't. Fuck. Okay, maybe you can't. Well, we got away with it. Easiest dragon fight. Even at 260% speed. Easy as fuck. <laughs> yeah, that was a lot shorter than a normal fight, I'm going to be honest. Okay... 270% speed. This should be the highest speed we have. I cannot see a reason that I would do anything other than Sword Saint Eshin right now. Guess let's stock up on money and then try and get as many prayer beads as possible. There we go. So that's a bit more healing. Okay, here's the thing. I can currently get one more vitality upgrade on what I currently have. And then I could get another two prayer beads. If... I kill a Kami leader. I can then also swim down into this lake and get this prayer bead, which will give me another two. 
which would be enough to get a second vitality upgrade. So is 10% speed worth an extra vitality upgrade? I'm, 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 I'm doing it. I need 8,100. How much do I have? I have 4,500. Okay, that dude gives me 116. Honestly, I don't think this will take too long. Okay, 8,100 cent. That is what we need for all the prayer beads. Okay, so now we can buy all of these. And we can upgrade our vitality twice. Lovely. Okay, Sword Saint Ishin at 280% speed. Well, actually, I should say Genichiro at 280% speed, because this fight isn't going to be easy at this fast, is it? Let's just see what we're working with. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, 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 um. <laughs> The Nitro may be more problematic than I expected. Yeah, I, I, I cannot press the button quick enough. Ow, ow, I'm dead. What the fuck do I do? No, but don't worry, if we're able to get through this, there's an entire three-phase Sword Saint after. <laughs> oh my god, calm down. Sick deflect. Less sick deflect. Okay, Genichiro, we got him, we got him, we got him. We got one phase out of four. Now what the fuck do I do for Ishin? Okay, what do I do? <laughs> what do I do? Oh my god, you're quick. Oh my god, you're quick. Yikes. Yikes. You can cheese Ganitro with heal McKeel. Oh, you can, can't you? Wait, you can. I forgot about this. Wait, that might make Ganitro easier. Yeah, so the way Ganitro works, or this like form of Ganitro works, every time you use a healing item, he is coded to do the thrust attack. So by constantly using healing items, he just keeps doing the thrust. Let's just test this. But if I just keep spamming healing items... Yes, some, something like that. The only issue is I won't have heals for Ishin. That might work though, That that's a solid shout. Wait, I have an idea though. Hang on, hang on. I, I have an idea that will help with this. Healing gourds are not the only thing that cause him to do that. It's not just healing items. These gourds also do it. These gourds also make Ganitro do that thrust attack. So I could use these gourds to kill Ganitro and then I'll still have all of my healing for Sword Saint. Yeah, I, th I think there are two more. Okay, let's get the purple gourd, this gourd as well. Oh my god, I, I fucked it up. Okay, kind of got away with it. Right, what the fuck do we do for this guy? Oh my god, I bet this looks awful to watch, me just circling around him. I, I don't think deflecting him is viable, so we need to think of some other cheese. Can I get an attack in like that sometimes? I, I wonder if, like, if he doesn't attack, I can get an R1 in. Yeah, like that. I mean, at least the good thing about Ishin's arena is it's fucking massive. Okay, I, I can kind of get R1s in after he does an attack. And I think maybe we could use that to, like, whittle down his HP by doing this. Yeah, th th this is the easy phase. 
I need to slowly do that. It will work. He is losing HP. He is still really fast though. It won't take much for me to just get caught in a combo and die. Even though I got Devotion, I don't really know if I can use attack boosts. Like in real time, it's gonna run out in like... I'm dead. In real time, it's gonna run out in like 18 seconds. Sorry if this is very difficult to watch. It's also pretty hard to play. My eyes already hurt from looking at this. Fuck. Okay. That will work though. That will definitely work for phase one. Okay, there's Ganitro. <laughs> at least Ganitro's easy. I mean, it's a four phase boss fight, so the fact that I can just get one phase for free is very nice. I love that the game is now so sped up that me pressing R1 is sometimes registering as a hold and it's doing a thrust attack. Uh, I don't have Mist Raven. You're saying that could help for the lightning, maybe? Actually, yeah, it would give you more airtime, wouldn't it? Also, this seems like a very minor thing, but it could actually be important. The fact that for Mist Raven you press R2 instead of X could actually really help. Because physically moving my thumb from like circle to X probably takes too long at this speed. Yeah, I don't think you need to beat Shinobi Hunter. Or do you? Maybe you do need to beat Shinobi Hunter. I don't think this is worth it. Looks like we're going back to this then. Okay, I think two more will give me the death blow. Okay, there's, there's one phase. What do I do? What do I do? Let, let's see what the spear is like. Where is my attack opportunity? That is a wall. Is it that? It, okay, it might be that. The gun is so fucking fast. Now, I need to stop getting greedy. Oh, where did lock-on go? It doesn't help when lock-on just, like, I get stuck behind a wall and lock-on breaks. Dude, lock, lock on breaking is like the death of this. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> ah, no, come on. This is the strat. Okay, phase three. That lightning looked really fucking fast. That's all I'm gonna say. Do I just do the same thing? I think the same thing. It, it seems to be working. No. Oh, really? I'm gonna Jizo. I think my only healing now is the Divine Grass. I want the thrust attack. I want one that I know I can hit. Yes, fucking go. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. Get the fuck out of here. Holy fuck. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. <laughs> First try, if only. I think it's only fair that just to finish off the game, we up it to 290. Because we did kill a boss. That was tough. <laughs> I don't know how else to say that was tough.